Ooh, our Tierra's back. Well, hello, Regal. Well, hey there, and welcome. Right now we're on a 42 fly. I'm actually uh, just gonna finish servicing the generator here on this one. Not a big deal. I've actually been stuck doing the same repetitive crap, either servicing or doing stuff that I've already filmed. So I came up with an idea. On Fridays, we'll do something called Five Minute Friday. I want everybody, if you want to, comment below and what you'd like me to talk about. I'm just gonna pick today's subject since it'd be number one, and we'll do uh, generators. I'll do a little bit of a how-to or what to do before you start it and what to look for, all that kind of stuff. And we'll just put five minutes on the timer and we'll go through it. So let's just start the video. All right, let's put five minutes on the clock here. Remember, comment below if you want me to talk about anything in the marine industry. I'm not gonna talk about politics or anything like that, but we'll try to do one continuous five minute take here. So let's start the timer. First, I wanna go to here, panel. You wanna make sure your battery's on, you can turn your panel on. Make sure everything is off. You don't wanna start your generator with anything on. Let's go downstairs. Before you start anything though, first thing you should do, Come down here. I've already checked it, but you got your through hole valve and your strainer right here. Make sure that's clear, make sure that's open. You come here, we can check our oil. I'm gonna change this one, but it looks like she's got plenty of you see there. We're not actually gonna start this because I'm gonna service it that way it's not hot when I'm messing with it. So it looks like you can do a visual too. Not a bad idea just to pull your cover off. I do this every month or something, every couple times you use it. This one obviously has been leaking. And we're gonna fix that though. Now, you've checked everything. You're able to start it. You know your batteries are on. We'll come back to the panel. You got no codes or anything here. You're gonna push the start button and let it fire up for the sake of uh, the noise. And we're gonna just use the shore power and pretend it's the generator. So, what you wanna do is turn everything off here. All this stuff. Start the generator. She's running. Give it uh, 30 seconds to a minute, let everything warm up, depending on the climate you're in. Then you turn it on, make sure you got voltage, good on both legs, nothing should be on. Then you're gonna wanna load it up. You wanna do it slowly if you can. Like every 30 seconds, turn on you know, one air conditioner, then let it all cycle through, then turn another one on. Anytime you run your generator, if you have a battery charger, I would suggest to always run it. Just keep that on, it can't hurt anything. Now, what are we at? Oh, we're at two minutes. Come back down here. I get this question quite a bit. So, I'm gonna answer it now. The uh, time you should be servicing your generator is once a year or every 100 hours. And this probably pertains to any brand generator. We're looking at Fisher Panda right now, but it could be Westerbeek, any of those. And basically, if you had spark plugs, you do spark plugs, but this one has an air filter you check, which is actually right here. You can see the little clips for it right there. You got two fuel filters, you got one right there. You got one in the back wall. Always check your antifreeze. Well, that's a good one to check too before you start the generator, make sure that's actually got fluid in it. Because if that's empty, that means it's leaking somewhere or something happened, you definitely want to check it out. Um, on these ones, you would change your oil. Obviously, I'm gonna pull this pump off and reseal the whole thing because we can see already. We got leaks. That's probably pretty common to any brand generator. Other than that, these are pretty simple. You don't really do much besides, uh, you know, bleeding the fuel system after you're done and firing up and make sure. The common problem with uh, any generator is definitely your water pump. That's always a common failure because you, know, you get stuff in your strainer, stuff like that. So that's always a big one to always keep an eye on and always have a spare. Keep a spare impeller with you and learn how to change it yourself in case of emergencies. It's always a good idea. Now, let's run back upstairs here. Oh, we got a minute and a half. So, I wanna show you this. This is for people that have Fisher Pandas. If you hold S2 and S3 together, and anytime you have a, it'll be bigger than a 5K, it will give you this screen right here. This is kind of like the secret menu or whatever. So you can, if you hit uh, S3, you'll go to next. 
you can view more data, which will give you all the different stuff, which is actually pretty cool uh, information. If you hit that, you'll actually scroll through and show you all the different data that the computer is recognizing. I always thought that was interesting. And you can pause it. I use this every once in a while when we have some kind of weird problem happening, or you know, you got some kind of a computer alarm going off that you can't uh, diagnose. This will usually tell you it's pretty, pretty clever. So let's go out of here. I'm burning my time up here. Hold on. No, don't power down. Yeah, I'll power up. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got 25 seconds. Anyway, 25 seconds. We can do it. Go back in here. There we go. Go to. Oh crap! Return to normal. Back. One more time. We got 10 seconds. We can do it. I'm gonna go back into this menu. It's three next next page is where you want to go to and you go to regular log data it's going to give you your alarms that's where you'll find your alarm records that's what i wanted to show everybody you can hit s3 and it'll show you exhaust temp is high tell you when it happened what was going on you can actually roll through the screen and see coil was cold everything was getting hot it's the exhaust time so that means the impeller in this one has been burned up at one time oh what are we at Oh, we overdid it. Well, I hope you enjoyed 5-Minute Friday. As I said before, if you want to pick my brain, just comment below. And every Friday I'll do a new one and I'll pick a topic that uh, somebody puts in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, I will see you next time. Later. Impeller blades. Collect the whole set.